Hey guys, Eric Gorno here with Performance Golf with my good friend Erica Larkin. And another video is going to really help you with your golf swing. Today we're talking about the magic move really to start the downswing and get your transition sequence correct. We're going to go through a couple different drills and feels and add some layers as we go, designed to make things easier, right? So you can take your golf swing with less effort and create the kind of motion that we want that gets us that consistent, solid contact day in and day out. Eric, if we could flip-flop spots sure. here for a moment. And this idea of falling into the downswing, right? We get a lot of golfers certainly who come in to see us who struggle with day-to-day -day consistency because they don't get these downswing parts of the swing correct. They might say things like weight shift right in right. here, um, the rotation pieces, things like that. And I really like the concept you talked about in your True Swing program about um, during the motion falling in early transition. You're gonna guide us through that, some of the drills. Yeah, for sure. So I think that as we complete the momentum move to get the swing started going back, the next phase of the swing up here is really a tipping over of the weight of the club and essentially the weight of the body. So momentum is starting to get building high enough up here that we're really sort of tipping over the top of the circle, if you will, just to keep it in simple yeah. imagery for people, right? So when we think about that, we want to just go with it. Let the wrists naturally hinge in these moments. This is where the weight of the club wants to go. Let the body essentially fall to that lead side. It wants to go there at that moment. We don't swing right to go right. We swing right to go left as right-handed mm. golfers. So we where's our right intention? We're swinging it back to essentially go where? To the target. Uh. So we have this in destination. We're trying to get this way. So there is going to be this tipping back to the target, but can we just make it happen naturally? Can we allow the natural forces of momentum and effectively gravity too, to help get us to that lead side? Yeah. Uh, so if you make a back swing and pause, which I know is sometimes a little bit unnatural in this example, but just get to yourself up here where you're on just that trail foot, pick up the lead foot and then just allow the weight of the club and your torso to start going towards the target and you'll feel how you're gonna fall over you're gonna fall to the left it's a lateral motion mm. the body in these moments is staying effectively closed to the target my back is still to the target my hips are still a bit closed in this moment this is a huge huge opportunity to keep the club on plane let it start to lower and shallow all mm. the ways that we want to do mm -hmm. um, naturally, effortlessly, automatically, and get our weight really posted on that lead side for what's coming next, which is the big finish, okay? Yeah. But sometimes we get ahead of ourselves because golfers, they just, they just want to hit at the ball from here. They start rotating really early. They start throwing the club. They start pulling on the club, pushing on the club, and they lose that opportunity to get in position to then swing through. Mm -hmm. We have to get there first before we can get into then that next natural down swing through swing phase of, this, of the true swing. So we're really talking about the transition here and how we can do this and blend those moments together in a way that automates the weight shift and gets mm. us set up for amazing impact, which is coming next mm -hmm. you don't want to jump and skip steps right yeah automates the weight shift is yeah. so good i like too how you talk about in your videos when i think about big picture about a golf swing that it's a wind up a fall and an unwind right and i think that sequence as you are listening to this is like okay i can that's simple for me to understand i wind up i fall and i unwind i think a lot of yeah. golfers that we see that struggle with contact they either don't fall at all True. Right. A lot of people don't ever make it to that front side. They, they're back here someplace. Yeah. They, and never, so, they never tip over. <laughs> and they would probably do what, right? They would struggle like hitting behind the ball. They, they would get contact behind issues. it, top it. I mean, yeah, all kinds of things. Because if you're back in here, how are you supposed to get down to the ball? It's really hard to bottom the club out in the right spot. And essentially, you know, there's lots of lots of misses that can happen. It looks there. like our friend Kevin, who's off camera <laughs> there. So nothing good comes contact wise from that. So obviously getting the fall forward in general, literally just getting it yes. is so important for contact. And then the second piece that's so good, I love how you, you mentioned too, is when I'm doing the fall, you're staying closed with the body segments early 
So you, you, the fall's getting the low point forward. Yes. But the staying close, like you mentioned, keeps the arms, hands, club from inside. Mm -hmm. So you get the, be, you know, the best of both worlds with that. Right. We're talking about a lot of technical things that people want to have happen in their swing, but you can't consciously think about them all right. in the motion. There's right. no time for all of that. Big you can't possibly think about those hundred million things and where you want to try to get to at, at you know, all the different little nuggets at impact. Let's just like get our balance to our front side and then all the unwinding is going to happen next. If we just get there, it, it just makes it so much simpler. So we're going to swing back and then let everything tip over so we fall to the left. Yeah, it's pure. You got a beautiful golf swing to Thank match you. that swing theory there. Give it a try. Yeah, so if I start with this in the beginning, I think before we go to the sticks, I really like to, you know, we haven't really, I haven't done any videos on this really before, but just the general concept of like you show, when I make my wind up motion on the way back, literally, like if you struggle with this weight shifting, picking your lead foot up, like completely unweighting it and literally just falling forward. And I think a lot of the golfers that come see us are trying to force the weight shift. They're trying to really like push hard forward and typically unsuccessfully mm -hmm. they're doing that. Versus I think if a lot of you guys that are watching just get a general idea of just that. I mean, it's so easy to feel my whole body's moving forward yeah. in that early transition and, for the and solid And don't contact. be tempted to like step, just allow the foot to find the ground naturally mm. as you're almost like the leaning tower of Pisa. Let your upper body go almost a little bit first. Like the momentum just taking me there. You know what I hear all the time from amateurs? Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my hips into it. I'm trying to fire my hips. And then they end up doing stuff like this and they really never get left enough early enough. They don't get there on time. You have yeah. to make that lateral shift mm. before the rotation kicks in. So it's like a lot of golfers either don't get there ever or they don't get there soon enough. Yeah, or they kind of fake it. This yeah, is not really getting your pressure left. Your chest is way too far back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we got to, especially with irons, this is a big, big deal. When we get to that left side that we are really balanced and aligned for impact, which is coming next. Yeah, exactly. And, and I really like too, in, in the, the true swing you put together, how, like, I think that's a really good concept to start with. That's easy for me. I can kind of get that falling, but then there's going to be questions of like, you know, where do, how do my shoulders open, my hips, my this, that. I really like the visual Erica shows with the alignment rods across the shoulders and the hips. And so you make the wind up right on the way back. Right. And I'm trying to keep both of these sort of closed. Yeah, you're going to keep them in their angles and just get your whole self moving a little left. Like don't be tempted to immediately unwind. Like so you do it way. the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So less of that, keep this closed. Almost as if this tip of the shaft right here would be pointing towards that golf ball or behind the golf ball for a little bit longer. Oh, okay. I like, like that. that. So that's, that's like a little reference point for like, how close should I be? How long should I stay? Yeah. So this because points. for the golfer that likes to overdo it, let's say they really get left, like really lunge at me over here. Okay. That's way too far. So you can see this is out in front of the golf ball so much so that there are other compensations that may unfortunately have to happen from here too. Right, right. You know, so we're trying to find a way that we get balanced. So how much is enough? Enough would be that this is moved over to point at the ball and you will feel right now, probably if you do it just the right amount, that this hip joint is pretty much made it on top of this front ankle. The shoulder's not quite as far over yet. Okay, but we're about there. This is, he's doing a great job of demonstrating how much of this weight shift we're really looking for as yeah. we fall to the left. I don't have to go nuts with like, all right, let me get this as separated as I possibly can. No, we're not worried about out. rotation at okay. all in this phase. And if I had a club in as I was doing that motion, as I'm keeping closed to give a visual, we're saying, hey, I'm falling forward. That's going to help me hit ball first, ground second. Mm -hmm. If I get where Erica showed the bad version, my head's way too far forward. I'm going to be too far over the top very likely. Yep. But if I do it and I stay closed as I'm falling, now I have room and space to have those arms fall from Correct. inside. Yeah, All those okay. beautiful things over here start to happen. The arms are lowering, they're staying back, swinging from the inside as a lot of you are trying to, to do. But yeah. again, then people overdo it and they get into other places that we don't want to be. Uh, you know what so. I like too, it's like you have so many good one-liners. The like idea of people trying to do something versus allowing something to happen yes. is a common theme when we're doing yeah. this correctly. Yeah, yeah don't just force it, just let it. Okay. So I'm going here like this getting just a general feel of me going this way, mm -hmm. letting my body fall that way. Okay, now yep. I'm doing that. Just gonna 
general sensation of staying closed in early transition. This is going to be so good for so many people, that little closed part. Yeah. Especially the people who are too over the top in the slicers. So I'm going to feel a gentle fall when I start down. Yeah, just when that club is floating up there at the top, starting to tip over, that's the right moment that's to let your fall. body to go left with it. Yeah, that was a nice high, great, probably a little five shot. yard draw shot. And a lot of the players too, Eric, I'd imagine who are watching, their tendency would be probably to um, be too open too early mm -hmm. and probably not fall enough early enough. So if I'm on a scale of one to 10, maybe I'm feeling this five out of 10 exaggeration. Don't be afraid to like, you know, exaggerate yeah. a little yeah. bit in the beginning probably. You want to take it one step farther? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's see up another golf ball. Go ahead and, and make that backswing, beautiful backswing, and just bring your two feet together to your right side. So we're gonna do a little step drill here. Okay, good. So you're gonna start from here. Now give me that falling sensation to the left and step right back to where your footprint is. And we can mm, almost okay. see it on the grass. And if you were to step too wide, we might be in a little trouble. So we wanna step right back to our original footprint. That's the fall. You can ah, exaggerate okay. by physically moving your feet and starting to do some of these dynamic drills like this. Great. And I know you've done some step drills. Yeah, You're but probably, what, a, what a good way to feel that same yeah. thing. It's, it's just bringing the, all those ideas together in a little bit more of a tangible way that you can really practice on the range. I'm gonna hit one more okay. just because I like to feel that. So I'm gonna fall, stay closed early. Yeah, and there's a pretty straight shot, maybe just slightly right of my target line, but I would take that yeah. all day long. So it's a wind up, a fall and an unwind. Yep. I'm feeling the fall at, at the tipping point at the top. Yeah, you feeling that club tip over up there? That's the time. Yeah, you know, that tipping point, that top of the backswing, that's where everything is finishing our wind up. And so that wrist hinge that's naturally developing up there, a lot of golfers trying to set that way too early. We talked about that in our previous uh, video together. And so we're not trying to do this here. We're trying to let it happen in a natural moment, mm. which is, up near the top yeah. okay yeah that's going to be our mantra don't try and make it happen allow it Let to happen it happen erica larkin eric gorno hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video all right guys hopefully you enjoyed today's videos i had a blast doing those with erica like i mentioned her true swing sequence i think is awesome i watched all the videos and they were absolutely killer not only do you get an unbelievable deal i mean 47 bucks for that come on but you get unbelievable bonuses as well that's her on course program you get unlimited swing reviews so erica and her team can guide you through step by step this entire process that's ridiculous and also her mental game program and live q a and not not only do you get all of that included with the program, you also get a 365 day money back guarantee. So there's literally no risk here for you to try this. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. We're gonna put the link in the first link in the description down below. You won't regret trying it out.